Chapter 11 Relevant Cost for Decision Making Part 2 At the end of this part, students should be able to Calculate and explain the decision based on Make or Buy Accept or Reject a Special Price Order Relate the Qualitative Factor in Decision Making Make or buy decision. In relevant costing, the decision to make or buy a product component depends upon the analysis of costs. Generally, managers choose the option that will allow them to save on costs. As an example, let's look at this situation. Ali company has been manufacturing its own widgets that are used in producing its final product. A supplier offers to produce the widgets that Ali needs for 5 ringgit and 80 cents per widget. If Ali company decide to buy from the supplier, 40% of the fixed overhead can be avoided. If Ali company choose to buy the widgets, the idle space used to manufacture the widgets can be rented out for 7,500 ringgit. Should the company continue to make the widgets or buy them from the outside supplier? The cost of manufacturing 10,000 units of widgets is summarized as below. Direct materials, 20,000 ringgit. Direct labor, 16,000 ringgit. Variable overhead, 9,000 ringgit. Fixed overhead, 15,000 ringgit. The solution for make or buy decision. Let's start to analyze the situation. Prepare a table of four columns. The first column is for particulars. The second column is for the first alternative. The third column is for the second alternative. And the last column is for the differences. Next, insert the current cost incurred, which is the cost to make the widgets. All variable costs are differential costs, which are relevant. They can be avoided. Direct material cost in making 10,000 units is 20,000 ringgit. Direct labor cost in making 10,000 units is 16,000 ringgit. Variable overhead cost in making 10,000 units is 9,000 ringgit. And fixed overhead cost in making 10,000 units is 15,000 ringgit. If Ali company decides to buy the widgets, then the direct material cost can be avoided, direct labor cost can be avoided, variable overhead cost can be avoided. Ali companies still need to incur fixed overhead cost of 15,000 ringgit because fixed cost is an avoidable cost. The differences in cost between make or buy. Direct materials, 20,000 ringgit. Direct labor, 16,000 ringgit and variable overhead 9,000 ringgit. Remember, fixed cost is always irrelevant cost. It makes no difference in decision making. However, the question mentioned that 40% of fixed overhead cost, which is 6,000 ringgit, can be avoided. The other 60%, which is 9,000 ringgit, is an avoidable cost and remain in both alternatives. Then, insert the cost of buying the widgets, which is 10,000 units, multiplied by 5 ringgit and 80 cents per widget. The total cost of buying the widgets is 58,000 ringgit. If the company choose to buy the widgets, the idle space can be rented out for 7,500 ringgit. This is the opportunity cost added to the cost of making the widgets. Opportunity cost is the benefit that is foregone when the company choose one alternative over the other alternatives. In this case, Ali company will lose the opportunity in gaining rental revenue if they choose to make the widgets because the space is going to be used in production. This opportunity cost is always a relevant cost. Lastly, total up the cost of both alternatives. Calculate also the total differences. As a result, 
the cost of buying which is 67,000 ringgit is lower than the cost of making which is 67,500 ringgit hence the company should buy the widgets as it will result in 500 ringgit of savings Accept or reject a special order. There are times when a customer places a special order for a large volume at a lower price. When a company is operating at less than its maximum capacity and the company has enough capacity to produce and fill the special order, the order should be accepted if the benefits, that is the revenue, exceed the cost, that is the expense. Let's look at an example. Nora company normally produces 8,000 units of product per month and sells at 20 ringgit per unit. Variable product cost is 10 ringgit per unit. Total fixed product cost up to the maximum capacity of 10,000 units is 38,000 ringgit. Variable operating cost is 1 ringgit per unit and fixed operating cost is 10,000 ringgit. A customer placed a special order for 2,000 units at 15 ringgit each. The customer is willing to shoulder the delivery cost. Hence, Nora company will not incur any additional variable operating cost. Should Nora company accept or reject the special order? Let's analyze the situation. Prepare a table of four columns. The first column is for particulars. The second column is for the first alternative. The third column is for the second alternative. And the last column is for the differences or the relevant cost. Next, insert the revenue and expense for the normal production that is 8,000 units and calculate the net profit record the variable cost and the fixed cost separately don't forget to show the calculation sales for 8,000 units is 160,000 ringgit that is 8,000 multiplied by 20 ringgit variable cost consists of two items product cost and Operating cost. Variable product cost is 80,000 ringgit. That is 8,000 multiplied by 10 ringgit. Variable operating cost is 8,000 ringgit. That is 8,000 multiplied by 1 ringgit. Fixed cost consists of two items. Product cost and operating cost. Fixed product cost is 38,000 ringgit. Fixed operating cost is 10,000 ringgit. Sales minus total variable cost minus total fixed cost, we will get net profit of 24,000 ringgit. Please remember that fixed cost is always irrelevant cost unless it is avoidable. So you may just write the fixed cost in both alternatives. Now, we will only focus on variable cost. Calculate the revenue and expense if the company accepts the special order of 2,000 units at the special price of 15 ringgit. No additional variable operating cost for the special order. If the company accepts the special order, sales would be 10,000 units. Sales at 10,000 units would be 190,000 ringgit. That is, 8,000 units of original sales multiplied by 20 ringgit plus 2,000 units of special order multiplied by 15 ringgit. Variable product cost would be 100,000 ringgit. That is, 10,000 units multiplied by 10 ringgit. Sales minus total variable cost minus total fixed cost we will get net profit of 34,000 ringgit. Don't forget to 
calculate the differences between the two alternatives. The difference in sales between the two alternatives is 30,000 ringgit. The difference in variable cost between the two alternatives is 20,000 ringgit. The difference in net profit between the two alternatives is 10,000 ringgit. Now, we can suggest to the company that it should accept the special order because it gives a higher profit. By accepting the special order, the company will gain 10,000 ringgit increment in profit. Main steps in decision making. There are six main steps in making decisions. Number one, identify decision problems. Number two, identify alternatives to decision problems. Number three, identify relevant costs for each alternative. Number four, sum up the relevant costs for each alternative. Number five, evaluate qualitative factors. And number six, make a decision by choosing the best alternative. The last step in making decision is choosing the best alternative. But before that, in step five, we also need to consider the qualitative factors. Qualitative factors. Qualitative factors on a make or buy decision. The supplier's trustworthiness, the quality of the product supplied by the supplier, the humanity factor in terminating existing employees. Qualitative factors on a special order decision, the impact on sales to the regular customers, its potential to lead the company into new sales area, the customer's ability to maintain an ongoing relationship that include good ordering and paying practices, long-term future effects on profitability.